shot fiends. So today I'm gonna go over my setup, on my trailer, all the equipment that I got, um, and show you guys um, what to work with, go over what you should get at least to start out, and some of the stuff that we've added to our setup over the process. So don't forget, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, um, and if you got any uh, feedback or questions, throw it down in the comment section. All right, let's go. CDL trailer. It's a uh, 35 plus 5 with mega ramps and I also have the 8 foot top deck uh, which is really nice for carrying my extra stuff. I got my dunnage up there and my tarps. So on board what I carry my trailer does have a 12,000 pound winch which I have never used but could come in handy if you're ever picking up a vehicle which we actively avoid but every once in a while you gotta take them. Um, I also got this one to set up with the Kingpin adapter um, because I tow it with the fifth wheel in the truck instead of the gooseneck ball. And then as far as the equipment that we carry on board, most of all of our stuff is from MyT products. You guys can see the link down in uh, the description below. Um, I've used their stuff and some other stuff off of different companies in Amazon. Um, like US cargo control and whatnot and the best products always seem to be theirs like as far as their ratchets and stuff They're a lot more durable and uh, handle a lot more weight and I haven't had any of their straps uh, Break so far. I've been using everything for about six months So these are just four by fours eight foot by four by fours that I cut in half So they're in four foot sections. I carry eight of those on board. I've uh, never really used all of them um, But that's what I carry for dunnage and I keep that chain down and I also have, carry two tarps with me. These are 18 by 24 foot, I believe, with uh, four foot drops on them. So those tarps are usually enough to cover most of the trailer, depending on how high the load is. Uh, sometimes they are a little short, so it wouldn't be a bad idea to have three. I just haven't taken the time to buy a third one yet. Um, as far as straps, I carry, I started out with 10 of these ratchet straps, which was enough to be able to uh, do what I needed to do as far as picking up loads. I haven't really ever needed more than that, but I do have a couple extras now just in case that I've acquired through the process. But these, these the standard ones that I bought are all my T3300 pound rated straps. Um, so they'll, you can't carry more than 10,000 pounds on the trailer. So that's uh, pretty much enough because if you, Put a strap every four feet for 40 feet that's 10 straps so if you've got the whole entire trailer full of a load then 10 straps should do it for you a couple other things that we picked up are these straps um, with the o-ring on the end um, i'm not sure what they're called but these help a lot for vehicles because what you can do is you can take the end of the strap you run it through the ring and you lasso the tire on the vehicle and then tie it down with the ratchet strap um, of course i always got a crowbar just in case so again, basic, you should have at least 10 of these ratchet straps at the very minimum to be able to haul anything. I would highly suggest picking up some of these or some other car carrier straps that are made for it. Um, I also carry four red flags in case I got an oversized load, as well as two oversized load banners for the front and rear of the, the truck and the trailer. And then corner protectors and more corner protectors and I have a lot of corner protectors. Um, those are always handy. These ones are a little flimsy. I would suggest picking up the, the big, durable red ones. Cody, throw me one. Yeah. So these guys right here are a lot more sturdy, so they are a lot more protective. I would suggest picking up some of these. My truck's got um, 10 
know, 20 of these on board. And then it's also good if you have some extra straps. So whenever you wear through a cut a strap, don't get rid of it. Instead, cut it into strips like this. I learned this one from Cody over there. Expert, expert flat better right there. Uh, but you fold these up and if you have a tight spot where you don't have enough space to put a corner protector in, this works perfect. Or if you're hauling something metal and you don't want to throw a corner protector in there, but you still want to protect the strap, you put this underneath and that'll prevent it from fraying. As far as chains and binders go, I started out with six chains and binders. Um, I now have two additional binders and two additional chains. So on board, I carry at least 10, well, I had starting six chains and binders, now I have eight chains and binders. And then you also wanna have these. These are corner protectors made for the chains. Uh, these are good in case you need to, if you're hauling coils or something like that, you need these to protect the edges. Um, and then you want at least 25 bungees per tarp, at least. But it's probably a good idea to carry at least 100 on board. This is like a pile of 50, right there. So that, that's the basic setup for our non-CDL trailer. Again, I got all these from, well, not all of it, but most of it I got from MyT products. And if you buy it on their website, instead of going through Amazon, actually sometimes it works out to be cheaper, um, which is a little crazy, but I guess they discount some of the prices on their website. So if you guys are interested, hit the link below in the description, um, and it'll take you there uh, to search for those products. and. Uh, that's my basic equipment setup for the Hot Shot non-CDL trailer.